Okay guys, welcome to the stream. How is everybody doing? Tonight, I thought of I'll do something a little bit different. So tonight, I'm not gonna play any games. I'm not gonna run any dungeons. I'm not gonna farm. I'm not gonna, you know, do any quests. or Any of that stuff. No dailies for tonight. Tonight, guys, I thought I was gonna tell you a story. Tonight, is story time. So, basically the story starts way back in the past way back in 2006 man that was a long time ago for you youngsters out there maybe some of you were young real little maybe some of you were not even born but for me 2006 that was the year when i started high school i mean approximately 2005 but 2006 i was uh, 10th grade that was the point when I finally got myself internet at home. Because in those days, if you wanted to play something on the internet, you go to an internet cafe. I mean, again, that's a totally different story from maybe another time. But basically, that was the time when I finally, everybody basically in my city got internet. Basically, the whole uh, internet infrastructure got laid down and we finally managed to get internet. All right. Basically, when you have internet, you have way more, uh, way more possibilities. I mean, yeah, I knew what the internet was before that. I used to go to you know, these internet cafes and play, play LAN, you know, Counter Strike or Dota Two or not, not Dota Two. What am I talking about? Just the first one, Dota Two, came out way later. But that was the thing. It was 2006. You know, I was in high school. I was younger. It was a different time. And during this time, there was a video game that got announced and uh, got released. And that video game was World of Warcraft. I remember seeing the first trailer for WoW. And it was me and my buddies at, at school. Uh, there was actually a friend that uh, showed me this trailer. And I was blown away i was it was basically a gameplay trailer. you guys probably saw that very very early gameplay trailer of wow that trailer actually came on the warcraft 3 install disc if you had warcraft 3 and you install the game you will get that trailer and from my you know young brain i was blown away that was just unbelievable that world that open world think about it you're in 2006 the only games back then where you had open world, you know, you, you had an open world game where you can explore freely, where like, you know, the GTA series, uh, we had Morrowind, we had the Gothic series, but I mean, those were old games, nothing, nothing special. And there were single player games. The idea of having this huge world where you can freely explore was mind blowing. But the nice story, it's not going to be about WoW. Well, we're going to talk about WoW some other time. The nice story, it's about a little MMO, a little video game called Mu Online. MU Online. Now, how did I got to find out about Mu Online? Well, basically, I wanted to play WoW. I had a few friends at school that were playing WoW. But back then, in order to play WoW, you needed a really strong computer, like a really, really good computer. And... You have to understand, we're in 2006. We didn't have like the computers. You guys probably don't don't remember. We didn't have the types of computers we have now. Computers back then were really bad. Even the expensive ones. If you would get like you know like a really expensive computer, that would actually be really bad. So let me give you the specs about my computer. When I started high school, my parents got me a new PC, which was really expensive for that time. And uh, the specs for the, that PC was, it, it had a processor, it was an Intel Celeron processor, 2.4 gigahertz, one core. There were no multi-cores back then, just one core. No dual core, nor quad core. Maybe, I, I think the dual core just came out, but that was really expensive. So yeah, we didn't have, a, my parents didn't have a lot of money. So we just, you know, they, just, they bought what they afforded. First computer just had one core, no dual core, nor quad core, no, it's just 
none of that, no hyper threads, no, you just had one core and that's it. All right, I had two five, 256 megabytes of RAM, megabytes, no gigabytes, no, just, you know, like 16 gigs of DDR, no, just 256 megabytes of DDR1. Got that, guys? DDR1, right? We didn't have DDR2. I mean, only later when I was in college, I got myself a laptop that had DDR2. No, it was DDR1. And I don't even remember the clock speed of that. those RAMs. They were really shit. Just basically, my motherboard had once just two slots. No, it had two slots. And I think the maximum was like 512 megabytes. But that, that's it, 256 megs. And that's it. And, and a 40 gigabytes hard drive. I mean, you were, uh, you know, in the early 20, 2000s. And yeah, in a way, 40 gigabytes was it's kind of enough. But it was really slow. I mean, it was this very old classic hard drive. It was really slow. It made a lot of crackling noises and yeah yeah it was it wasn't the best but that's all you had i mean most most computers back in those days you had to choose from 40 gigabytes or, or 80 gigabytes i mean the 80 gigabytes were the were the expensive ones were the really good ones but that's all you had right nothing fancy just basic stuff okay and i had this really crappy monitor this i mean it looked like a box basically <laughs> Just this huge box on my on my table and that's about it that's all i got so basically this is what we're starting for ah yes and the internet was cable right so basically you had this modem and you had the tv cable which you will connect into the modem and then from that modem you will connect to the computer it was really shitty and you basically had a static ip and <clears throat> the, the speed of the download was really bad uh, guys get this in order to download on um, 600 megabytes movie from torrents back then you had to wait, wait around a week the download speed was like 12 kilobytes but okay enough about that i'm just telling you to understand the context in which the story begins so basically i wanted to play wow right and yeah my friends back then didn't play on the retail server on the original server because uh where i live here in eastern europe Back then, it was really hard to, you know, most people didn't have credit cards or nowadays, yes, you can just go to the to the store next to you and just buy some uh, some wow time. Now it's it's a very different time from back then. But back then, you simply, there was just no way how you can buy a, a wow subscription. You can just only play it on the private servers. So yeah, back then, you have to understand, guys, when wow came out, private servers appeared. I mean, I... Personally, I think it was like day one. You had the you had the retail wow, and you had the private servers. The, these two came in parallel. I mean, there were private servers from day one. Yes, and my friends played on private servers. Why did they play? Well, because they had better computers. That's that's the whole thing. And the computer I had, that Intel Celeron, the, the computer I just told you about, it just couldn't run well. I simply could not run the game. I mean, I, I installed it, and I, I just clicked open, and it just it just freeze. It simply didn't have. And yes, I forgot about the graphics card. I didn't have a graphics card. It was an integrated gra graphics card, basically on the processor. So back then, dedicated video cards were kind of uh, most computers didn't have them. If you wanted to have a dedicated video card, you had to buy it separately, which was very expensive. So. That that's it. It's yeah. Nowadays, if you want to buy a you know like if you want a dedicated video card, you just buy it from Facebook Marketplace. It, it's so easy. I mean, the time it's so different nowadays than it was back then. So basically, my parents bought the computer, and that was about it. So, I was in high school. All my friends were playing WoW. I wanted to play WoW, but I simply could not get it. So, what do you do? When you want to play a game and you can't do it well i try to find alternatives what alternatives you ask well let me try to see let me search online to see if there are aren't any other games that look like wow but have minimum system requirements and again the 
fascinating thing for me about WoW was the fact that you can play it in uh, multiplayer. The idea that you can play in a world full of other players, hundreds of players, that was mind blowing. I mean, I know that nowadays that's no, it's no big deal. I mean, most games nowadays are just multiplayer or co-op or whatever. But back then, that was mind blowing. You have to understand, World of Warcraft was just a huge shift in in culture, in gaming culture. Back then, I mean, most games were single player. You see, the technology was not advanced enough to create these. I mean, Blizzard did something revolutionary for back in those days. So, again, I tried to find a game that I could play. And I kept searching online. And I, I, I found uh, Ultima Online. And uh, I think it was... Uh, there was another game, this very Korean game. I don't even remember its name, but they were all really shitty, really, really bad game. And again, they, they still work really bad on my, my really crappy computer. So, all right. I just said, that's it. Not going to play WoW, not going to play any MMOs, whatever. But one day, a friend of mine told me about this little game. He said that, well, if you cannot play WoW, why don't you play MU Online? Mu Online. All right, I'm just going to call Mu Online. And I was like, well, what is that? And uh, just went home. Because back then, you have to understand, back that, that's the age before the smartphone. There were no smartphones. Back then, if you wanted to, you know, search something on the internet, you actually had to come home, boot up your computer, and uh, do the searching. Back then, you didn't... I, I know that nowadays, we have so many devices around us. You know, we, everybody has a phone and a smartwatch and whatever, and laptops and... Internet is basically everywhere, but back then, internet was something that was home. You, you just, you couldn't just, you know, search for something on the spot. So I went home, searched for this game, and found it. It's like, okay, it looks kind of, you know, like Diablo style game, but whatever. So I downloaded it, managed to install it, put it in, and oh my gosh, the game works. And it's not that it works, it looks amazing. My, you know, teenage brain just got blown away. The music, the atmosphere, I was blown away. Yes, it didn't, it didn't, it was not 3D like, wow. But the fact that, you know, the graphics and, the, you know, the, the grass was moving and the atmosphere and I was blown away. Just completely, it's like, oh my God, I can, and there were other peoples in the game. And bear in mind, this is, this was basically a very old version of MU. I mean, MU Online now, it's a little bit more advanced, more more upgrades. But back then, you kind of had the vanilla version. There was nothing... I think the game came out in somewhere in 2001, 2004. I, I don't even remember. But the game was still in a kind of vanilla state. So I got the game, boot it up. And uh, yeah, like I said, I was blown up. I was hooked. In the, in the first minute I boot up the game, I was completely hooked. That game was amazing and you have to understand the game is even i think even today the game is really simplistic it doesn't hold your hand you don't have quest logs you don't have you know like maps if i remember correctly you didn't have a map you didn't know where you're going you're just going into one direction and that was amazing about the game is that i mean you had a map but the map was so you you didn't you didn't even understand where you are on the map you just had this one map this is the map. Now go. The sense of exploration was just mind blowing because you didn't know where you are, and you just I kept going, kept leveling, and I started. First, I didn't even know there are more zones. I mean, you know, you probably know the starting area where you start the game. From that point on, you get to different zones. You get a, to a you know water zone, a cave zone, a snow zone. But back then, I, I didn't know that. And the moment when I started to discover all these other zones, I was blown away. So for me, that was that was amazing. I mean, the, the experience in that time was just mind-blowing. And yeah, it was not wow. But for me, back in those days, the early 2000s, that was World of Warcraft. That was, I was just hooked. I mean, I used to play that every time I would come from school. You know, just do my homeworks really fast, and just play Mew Online. Just until really late into the night. And yeah, the game is really simplistic. You have to understand, it's it's kind of... What's amazing is that that game back then was really simplistic, but I put on hundreds of hours, and it was 
incredibly immersive even if it was it was really really simple the game is very basic nowadays you have these just incredible incredibly complex games which are just not that uh, immersive anymore and i know maybe this is a discussion for some other time but i it's hard to understand why these games back in those times which you know these games really simple were a lot more immersive than today's games which are you know objectively way more complex and i'm talking about you know like even wow basically today world of warcraft today it's way more complex than you know vanilla wow but wow today simply feels i don't know it's it's not that immersive it's i feel that most of the times i'm just you know just trying to search for activity to do i'm not staying in the world i'm just looking at menus all the time so yeah new online was an amazing experience and i played that for all through all my high school period that was that was my that was my game and uh my friends you know i told them hey you guys you know i cannot play wow but i'm playing mu online and you know what your reaction is what a piece of shit yeah they thought that mu online was crap and yeah i agree it was kind of a crappy game but I didn't care. I had fun. I was enjoying myself. And yes, they were playing WoW. Yes, the new you know Burning Crusade was was launching and they were having fun. But you know what? I didn't care. I just played Mew Online. And that was my MMO during the high school years. Uh yeah, I mean after I finished uh, high school and went to college, that was uh, another big transformation. I got myself uh, you know, a laptop because I needed a laptop for college and, and that laptop I finally managed to play WoW. And uh you know I kind of uh, kind of abandoned new online, totally forgot about it. But that experience, you know, and recently I kind of rediscovered the game and you know I was actually thinking that maybe I should just play a little bit, reinstall it, you know, make a first impression video about it. And uh yeah it's it's basically just nostalgia. I mean, for me, that game is just, you know, it has that vibe of the early 2000s when things were so much simple. In a way, World of Warcraft kind of changed the way we perceive MMOs nowadays. It changed them in a good way, in a bad way, I don't know. In a way, I kind of like the simplicity of the older games. The older games didn't hold your hand. If I would compare MU Online with a more modern game, that would be Dark Souls. Do you guys know that in Dark Souls, there is no map. I mean, there is no mini map. There is no quest marker. You just, you're thrown in a world. You land there and you have to find your way. I mean, no one's holding your hand. Come on, go out, go out, explore. You know, you're going to get killed several times, but that's it. So in a way, for me, Mew Online was the same type of experience. You know, it's... It's just very tough. And yeah, in that game, back in those days, I would die a lot. I would die. I mean, that game was really rough, brutal because it didn't actually teach you how to play the game. You had to, you know, find out by yourself. And yes, I even made a lot of friends in that game. There were still... That was actually, I think, one of my first ever games where I uh, interacted with uh, other players online. I mean, yes, I also used to play other games. Like, I used to play Counter-Strike, you know, like 1.6, you know, the, the old classic Counter-Strike. But that was, a, that was a shooter. That was not a, you know, persistent world. What other multiplayer escapes did I play? Oof. I think there was some Need for Speed I, I remember I played. And, um, ah, yeah, Warcraft 3. I played online on StarCraft. But, yeah, but those were not persistent worlds multiplayer worlds for me mu online was amazing because you actually went into that world and it was persistent you had people around it and it felt alive and it's just like and again i know nowadays that just looks you know basic because all games are like that but that game and you know early 2000s i mean yeah not early mid 2000s that was just mind-blowing and yes college came in college you know kind of changed that i quit playing mu online and uh, then actually finally got myself back into wow and i started playing back then it was a rat of the lich king 
it was during the wrapped expansion and you know i started playing wow and that turned out in the end turned out into a complete obsession and almost addiction of me playing wow but that's a story for some other time but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys this story because i think it was it's it's very nostalgic at least for me i mean that game that game feels every time i hear the music it just feels very you know it reminds me of the not not the good old days because those days had their own problems i mean i had a lot of problems in my life back then too but it was a lot more simple days were those times were a lot more simple just you know you just have one game and you play it and, and that's it okay guys you know i ramble for way too much i think that's about it that's about it for tonight I don't know, I'll probably do some more of these videos to tell you about, uh, I don't know, my time playing WoW, my time playing the Elder Scrolls, oh my god, you know, Oblivion, Skyrim, that's a totally different story and a different type of beast. I mean, New Online was, I just, I played it actually only a little bit, only during high school, but Skyrim, for example, or WoW, I, I basically I still play those games, I mean, WoW, I still, uh, from time to time, I still log in. I mean, I don't play like back in those days, but uh, yeah. I mean, for me, even WoW is like nostalgia now. It's it's an old game. It's almost ancient by this time. But anyway, basically, that's that that's about it. That's my story about Mew Online. Okay, guys. That's it for now. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.